Okay, so hello there, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, I am Charlie Alova. I am here to present to you my paper in Attitudes Towards Mathematics of Grade 11 Senior High School Students. So I am from the Mathematics Department of the College of Arts and Sciences of the University of St. LaSalle here in Bacolod City in Negros Occidental. So let's start. Um, let's get onto it. Um, first part is my abstract. Let me read it, um, though you can. Um, let me read it once. This study aimed to determine the, and analyze the factors affecting the attitude towards mathematics of grade 11 students and how they are related to their chosen strand, sex, and type of junior high school graduated from. This study is conducted to the grade 11 students of the Seo de La Salle Senior High School of the University of St. La Salle during the first quarter of the school year 2018-2019. Descriptive correlational research design employing survey method was used in this study. 313 students uh, were the respondents of the study. The attitude towards mathematics inventory, or shall we call it ATMI, was used to gather or determine the level of attitude towards mathematics of the respondents. The data gathered were analyzed using the mean, the chi-square test of association, the Pearson product moment correlation coefficient R. Results of this study revealed that the students from the STEM strand has a positive attitude towards mathematics. Likewise, male students have positive attitude towards math. Grade 11 students shows that they understand the value of mathematics, but they do not have the enjoyment, the self-concept and motivation in mathematics, which is one important part of my study. Also, there is a significant relationship uh, exists um, between the level of attitude towards math and their chosen strand. Um, lastly, there exists a significant relationship between the enjoyment and the self-concept factors in the student's attitude towards mathematics. So that's my abstract, a little bit um, long, but uh, let's get into the parts of the study. So these are my keywords, um, attitude towards mathematics, attitude towards mathematics inventory, my questionnaire, high school mathematics, enjoyment in math, and value of mathematics. Moving on, uh, this is the introduction. So the world of today where change is accelerating and where the need for mathematics as a way of representing, communicating, and predicting events is ever increasing. It can be argued that the need to understand and to be able to utilize mathematics in daily life and in the workplace become important requirements of the 21st century. The principles of mathematics appear in many ways in daily life, the world of finance, insurance issues, social decisions based on statistics and probability, engineering medicine, as well as the routine use of number and of shape. That's according to Alanesi 2008. To continue, learners are social beings with personal beliefs, emotions, and views, and most especially, students' attitudes should be considered in the learning process. Their motivation to learn plays an important role for them to achieve. Thus, the attitude cannot be easily separated from learning because they are acquired through the process of learning. That's according to Akinsola and Olowajaye, sorry if I mispronounced that, 2008. Attitude towards mathematics plays a crucial role in the teaching and learning process of mathematics. It affects students' achievement in mathematics, that's according to to Sandman way back in 1980, to aid math teachers and student teachers of the current issues, uh, or rather current attitude towards mathematics of our students and to determine where the math teachers and student teachers need to focus on their mathematics teaching. Um, that is the main uh, purpose of this study. Um, hopefully we can get to that at the end. Uh, this is my schematic diagram. We can we start with the student's profile first, uh, talking about their strands, wherein um, there are five, the STEM, ABM, UM, Stevie Allen, Arts Disc, arts and design, their sex, male and female, a type of uh, junior high school they graduated from, which is either private and public. The students' attitude towards mathematics are, uh, there are four factors according to the ATMI by Tapia and Marsh, uh, 2014, 2004, enjoyment, self-confidence, motivation, and value. And this will eventually, hopefully, um, be make, made use for the, some intervention at the end. So that's my schematic diagram. The statement of the problem in which this um, study aimed to answer, what is the level of attitude of grade 11 students when grouped according to strand, sex, and type of junior high school graduated from? And number two, what is the level of attitude towards mathematics of grade 11 students when taken as a whole and grouped according to the following factors of the ATMI? Enjoyment, self-concept, motivation, and value. Next is for number three, is there a significant relationship between the level of attitude towards mathematics of grade 11 students and their profile? So we're going to... Um, uh, get the relationship between their attitudes and their profiles, such as strand, sex, and type of junior high school graduated from. Um, number four, is there a significant relationship between and among the factors of the attitude towards mathematics of grade 11 students? So these are, talk these are talking about the factors. 
Um, the scope of limitations, this was limited to the school year 2018-2019 and then the grade 11. Students of Lasalle de La Salle Senior High School, University of St. Lasalle. The student's uh, attitude is measured by ATMI. Other external factors before, during, and after the administration of the questionnaire did not have any bearing in this study. The interpretation and findings of the conclusion were limited to the instrument used in the study and the statistical treatment employed, likewise. Um, the research design is making, mainly using the descriptive correlational long design. Um, as you can see, there's significant relationship in number and in statement of the problem, the research question three and four. Um, the research participants are 313 grade 11 students from the Liceo de La Salle, all strands. Um, the researcher made use of a multi-stage sampling method um, in selecting the respondents, making use first of the stratified random sampling using proportionate selection then cluster sampling through, through lottery method to identify the sections per strand. Finally, simple random sampling for the last section drawn in order to, to get the total of 313 grade 11 students all in all. The instrument again is the ATMI. Though part one is talking about or getting their demography that, that uh, gets their name, which is uh, very optional, sex type of junior high school graduated from, and their strand, of course. Um, part two is the ATMI, okay, which is composed of 40 items by Tapia and Marsh, measuring the, their attitude towards mathematics, uh, and these were divided into factors, enjoyment, self-concept, motivation, and value mathematics. It is a five-point Likert scale, made use of a five-point Likert scale. So the data gathering procedures are as follows. First, we need to make sure the ethical standards are being uh, followed. We ask permission for the, uh, the principal of that school year 2018, 2019 to conduct the study. The researcher assured the principal and the administration that the data gathered will be held with confidentiality. The researcher then reproduced the instrument according to the actual number of respondents and made use of the attitude towards attitudes toward mathematics inventory, the ATMI. The data was, were then gathered, tabulated, and then made use of Jamovi and Microsoft Excel um, for the statistical softwares. So um, first is we're, we, the researcher made use of the Microsoft Excel for the preliminary studies and for the basic statistics. Then Jamovi is for the rigorous ones. Then the data analysis procedure is as follows to answer the uh, to determine the level of attitude towards mathematics of grade 11 students, the mean was used. To determine the level of attitude towards grade 11 students according to their factors, the mean was still used. Um, the, to, to determine if there's a significant relationship between the level of attitude towards mathematics and their profile, such as strand, sex, and type of junior high school graduate is from, the chi-square test of association was used. And lastly, to determine if there's a significant relationship between and among the factors of the attitude towards mathematics of grade 11 students, um, the Pearson product moment correlation coefficient R or the person R was used. So that's that this corresponds to um, question one, question two, question three, question four. And these are the results of the study. Um, the level of attitude of grade 11 students towards mathematics when grouped according to their profiles, trans, sex, and type of junior high school graduated from, the factors are as follows. So you can see here, that in their strand, um, we can see in the STEM that we have 3.58. Sorry, there's a there's somehow of an error here. Um, STEM is 3.58. My my good, that my bad. ABM is 3.31. The UMS is 3.18. Um, TVL is likewise 3.18. Arts and Design is 3.27. There's an error um, in which um, I think this line is should be omitted. Okay, and then the SDs are as follows. Sorry about that. And in the, in the interpretation, the STEM strand have a positive um, attitude towards mathematics. For the sex, um, it can be seen that male students have positive attitude towards mathematics with mean 3.54. The type of junior high school graduated from, the public schools have positive, um, positive attitude towards mathematics, though the scores are not that um, significant in difference. So um, the problem one only solves and talks about the level, plainly the level of their attitude towards mathematics. Their researcher, though it's not or it's outside the coverage of the of the uh, problem, uh, made use and made sure that the significant the difference is significant. Making use of this, looking at the strand, we can see that um, um, the only is the stem one is the stem strand has a positive attitude here. The male has a positive attitude, and the type of junior high school, the public schools or students from public schools, have a positive attitude. So the researcher wants to make sure that there is indeed a significant difference. It's not only due to chance. So the 
Uh, this is outside the coverage, but hopefully this will give you a, um, an overview of what is happening. So for the, step, for the strand, uh, the, again, this is an error. Um, it is significant making use of um, analysis of variance, one-way analysis of variance. So therefore we need to reject the HO, though there's no HO, but I just want to make sure that it's significant. So hence, hence we have a p-value of 0 0.0003. For the sex, it's also significant, um, which has a p-value of 0 0.0045. And for the type of junior high school graduated from, it's not significant. So meaning um, there's no difference here, only that it's only due to chance. Um, the researcher made use of ANOVA here in in making use of the significant difference among the strands. So we made you, we must make sure that there are determined where the relationship or the difference lies by the 2K post test. Okay. But remember the sex significance. So um, it's significant that males have a higher uh, attitude towards mathematics compared to females. So for the 2K post hoc test for the strands, we can see here that if we're going to compare STEM and ABM, it's significant. If we're going to compare STEM and Humes, it's also significant. There's the difference there. But for the TVL and arts, not that significant according to STEM. Um, maybe further studies may, uh, may be needed to make sure that indeed there is. Okay, So the TVL and arts may be of the sample size. Uh, since the TVL and arts have, is little or has less students overall, so hence by the, by the certified random sampling, um, they have less respondents in this study. So there's a significant difference between STEM and ABM, between STEM and UMS. So all the others, it's not significant. Now, to answer question number two, um, level of attitude of grade 11 students towards mathematics when taken as a whole in terms of the factors. So we can see that um, as a whole, it's just neutral with 3.35 as your mean, but uh, the value of mathematics turns out to be positive, which makes uh, uh, just, you know, students know the value of mathematics, though they, in, as a whole, they don't have a positive attitude towards it nor a negative attitude, just neutral. Um, but notice that the enjoyment, self-concept of motivation is also not positive. Hence, it's just neutral. Um, what the, the effect of this or the, the bearing of this is that they know, students know that mathematics is important. It, the value, they value mathematics, but they don't have the motivation, self-concept and enjoyment uh, regarding it. So the researcher, again, makes a follow-up statistical analysis to make sure that this is indeed um, statistically significant. So we made use of the one-way analysis of variance, getting that we have a less than 0 0.00001, which is which makes sure that it's very significant. And it indeed it's significant at alpha level 0 0.05. Um, since it's significant, the researcher wants to know where the significant difference lies, making use of the 2K post hoc test. And surely enough, true enough, if we're going to compare the value and self-concept, value and enjoyment, value and motivation, um, we can see that there's a significant difference uh, between those variables. Uh, other variables don't have that significant difference, meaning students indeed know the value of mathematics, only that they don't have the self-concept and enjoyment and motivation with that. And that was uh, rigorously, um, uh, what do you call that, considered here and was you know, highlighted here that the value indeed is significantly different compared to the other factors. And maybe this is where the mathematics teachers and student teachers will look into. Now, the relationship between attitude towards mathematics of grade 11 students and compared to their profile, strand, sex, and type of junior high school graduated from, um, if you're going to compare strand and their attitude, uh, the p-value is this, making use of chi-square test, um, it has 0 .1, 0 0.0156, it's significant as far as their strand is concerned. So there is a relationship. If you're going to take STEM, um, going back to the table, to the first table, if you're going to get, if you have um, a positive attitude towards math, it, it means that you are highly inclined to, to have or to get the STEM strand or the ABM strand. And for the sex, there's no significant relationship. Um, for the sex, there's no significant relationship um, in the type of junior high school they graduated from. Lastly, uh, we have relationship of the factors of attitude towards mathematics of grade 11 students. So looking at the relationship, you know, if you, if you for example, if you get high in the value, does it mean that you got high in the self-concept and, and, well, and other factors? So what we saw here is that there's a significant relationship between the self-concept and the enjoyment of mathematics. 
which means that if you have a good self-concept or a good background in mathematics, your enjoyment in math will be also quite high. Um, vice versa, if you have a good enjoyment, if you enjoy math, your self-concept will also high, will also get high. So that's that's a significant relationship out there. All the other variables would have a significant relationship just like that. So that only exists in the self-concept and the enjoyment in mathematics. Oh, so what I can give now is a conclusion. Grade 11 senior high school students know the value of mathematics, of how it can be used in everyday life, and of how it could be of help in their future careers. They understand that math is very important, but they do not have the enjoyment to do it, nor the self-concept, nor the um, enjoyment or the motivation of doing it. Also, we see that there's a significant relationship between a student's attitude towards math and their chosen strand. So when a, when a student's attitude towards math is positive, he or she tends to take up courses which is related in math, such as the STEM strand. However, however in sex and type of junior high school, there's no barrier. We also acknowledge that there is a significant relationship between the grade 11 students' enjoyment in math and their self-concept. So the conclusion is that if you enjoy math, your background, your competence in math will be also high. Uh, vice versa, if you have a high competence in math, you enjoy it. Um, with the recommendations and the conclusions of this study, the challenge for teachers is to inspire students for them to enjoy mathematics, acquire self-concept, and have the motivation to do mathematics. The teacher should find ways, different strategies, unique techniques, and start improving practices in their mathematics class to heighten these attitude factors towards mathematics and in turn to uplift their academic performance in the subject. Attitude towards math of grade 11 students has something to do with their chosen strands. The guidance counselors may develop a talk or a forum with representatives of different strands to discuss about the attitude of different strands between or towards mathematics so that the proper intervention will be implemented. Moreover, since students' enjoyment in mathematics is related to their self-concept in the subject, this is a challenge for math teachers or pre-service teachers in mathematics to make the teaching learning process as enjoyable as possible because it could influence their self-concept, their competence in the subject. And these are the authors, the researchers' references. And thank you very much. That's the end of the talk. Um, I hope you learned something from this, um, uh, from this talk here. Um, you can always um, connect with me, uh, the author, through these uh, websites. I'm in ResearchGate. You can see some of my researches there in academia likewise. You can see my LinkedIn profile, my Facebook account, my YouTube channel. I do create YouTube videos and you can always um, send me an email if you need to. So this is my uh, brief, very brief um, background. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's my pleasure to, to share my um, knowledge and my study here. And I hope you learned something from this. So thank you very much.